Hey everyone, this is Dan Lynch from Cosmology, here to show you how to create a Stargate signing client with Telescope. So if you've been following along so far, you've probably already been able to transpile your photos into a SDK, as well as explore the SDK messages that have been transpiled into a nice JavaScript SDK. So now let's take a look at, once you've composed those messages, how can you broadcast those? Well, you need to create a Stargate signing client. So let's do just this. So I'm gonna show this demo with the Osmosis module, but if you've been using your own modules, uh, you, you can effectively expect to see the same thing with the name of your blockchain. So we have a git signing Osmosis client. I'm going to then create a client here using await, and I say git signing Osmosis client, and I'm gonna pass in the RPC endpoint and the signer. Now the signer is a offline signer that can come from Kepler, that can come from Cosm.js. Please refer to the documentation or see other videos on how to construct this object. And the other property is an RPC endpoint. Check out the chain registry. Uh, it's a good place to find RPC endpoints. Unless you're hosting your own nodes, then you can use that as well. So once you have this client, now you need to sign and broadcast. So I've actually created a utility that you can use it's called Cosm.js Utils, so you can just import this at the top. And once you construct your messages, let's say we're going to pull off the join pool and create a message here. So we've pulled off join pool, and we've made a message now that has the uh, join pool ready to go. And now we want to broadcast this message. Well, we're going to effectively call sign and broadcast from the Cosm.js Utils library and that looks like this. Very simple here. You pass in your signing Stargate client, you pass in your chain ID, the address, the message that you are composing, uh, the fee, and the memo. Now the fee, you can also construct that manually. Again, there's a bunch of different ways to do this, but generally you can import the Cosm.js amino and then construct a fee as an object that looks like this. So there you have it. This is how you sign and broadcast a message. You effectively create the message, you create the fee, and you get the address, which by the way, you, usually you can get this address from the signer, which you should already have from either using Cosm.js or Kepler. So that's how you create a Stargate signing client. If you're interested in the details, I'm just gonna quickly dive in to show you what's happening under the hood. So effectively what happens is you end up creating a Stargate signing client here but we're registering these amino types in the registry. Now, if you're wondering, what is that? Well, this is part of the complexity that, like when I first came into the Cosmos, I was like, why is it that if I wanna broadcast a message, I need to understand all of this stuff? Can we just automate that? So the answer is yes, we can, and we did. So here's the registry of all of the GAM module, uh, incentive module, lockup module, superfluid token factories, protobuffers, and here are the amino types. And we've generated all that code up here above. So you can take a look at these files if you're interested. Uh, not necessary as it's actually auto-generated, but this is how we handle uh, the amino encoding also by generating all the amino messages as well as the amino converters. So again, not something you need to understand, but if you're curious what's happening under the hood, there is a lot that goes into this git signing Osmosis client. So from there, you can construct your message construct your fee, and then broadcast your message. Stay tuned for the next video where we're going to explore generating LCD clients.